Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a glitch that happens in Studio One when you're trying to update a mastering track. And this can also happen when you're trying to just export a mix down of a song. So I'm going to show you how to fix that and how to make it work. Now, the issue that I'm talking about is when you're trying to play the track back, whether you've updated it in your mastering track or you've exported it to a mix down, it just doesn't sound like it's supposed to. Maybe the beat is cutting out, maybe the vocals are cutting out, maybe certain elements are just cutting out, but it's not everything that you recorded in that session. It's not everything that's supposed to be in that song. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing, and online business. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't wanna be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here, guaranteed. Now let's get straight into this, shall we? Shall we? And my question of the day is, what are you working on now that's caused you to face this issue? Okay, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, right here, I've got my song, Thinking About Me, and I'm just going to go to song and go to update mastering file. And I'm unsure if this is gonna create that same glitch that happens, because I believe last time I did this, it did create that same glitch, but it might not happen this time, so, if it happens, I'll show you the example. If it doesn't happen, I'll just show you exactly what you need to do in order to make sure that this is fixed for you when you're trying to update your mastering file or when you're trying to export your mix down, okay? So this is going to update our mastering file and it did not open our mastering file, so we'll need to do that. We'll need to go to open recent files, think about me, project, there we go. And we'll see. Till we play the game, I have a plan, and am I in your plan? When your friends are still, you say that I am your man. I know it might seem like I. I think this might have just updated it correctly. I'm not 100% sure. Let's try it one more time, just in case, because it seems to just be updated. Yeah. Or let's go to add to projects and we'll go to add to think about me then we'll see it and we'll know uh, do you have a plan and am i in your reason just the way that it's always been uh, yeah we play the game and who can care less oh if you're thinking about me i guess when it feels right it feels right uh, All right, so it worked absolutely perfect for me. Lovely. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't do that, okay? And when it doesn't do that, or when your mix down is coming out incorrectly, what you need to do is go to song, go to export mix down, okay? And here, generally if you're doing a mix down that's gonna be a pre-master that you're gonna turn into a master, you want to do it in a WAV file. But I've already made a video on the settings for exporting your files, so definitely go and check that out. But here, the most important thing for you to do is to use real-time processing. Now, what this does is it will just play back your entire song and it will process it in real time. 
and everything that you hear when it plays back will be in the exported version of the song so if you find that maybe the beat is cutting out which has happened to me many many times or certain vocal lines are cutting out and not appearing as they should then when you do this and you use real-time processing everything will be perfectly fine okay so that is the hack that's the fix that's what you need to do you need to click on use real-time processing okay let me actually change this back to 44.1 because it doesn't make sense for this to be 48 kilohertz when the session's actually 44.1 that's I don't think that causes the issue, but using re real time processing is the setting that you need to mess with, the setting that you need to use in order to make sure that everything is exported correctly. So that's that. And that's as easy as it is. Now, if you want your vocals to be mixed in half the time, if you want it to already be half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, then check out my spotify ready vocal mixing secrets template for studio one link is in the description down below or go to jcarteray.com forward slash vocal templates okay now this will also come with a pdf that walks through every single setting in this template so you can use your own plugins if you don't want to use the same plugins that i use let me turn these inserts on i don't know why they're off so if you've got a different eq different compressor that sort of stuff you can just enter the same values and get the same sort of results okay this is going to save you a bunch of time and get your music set up very very fast and have your vocals sounding super clean before you even get to the mixing stage so definitely check it out link down below and if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please leave those in the comment section down below and in the next video you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out